Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my art channel. This is part two of an ongoing series on my channel called I'm Back after disappearing unannounced for several months. If you're new to my channel, I'm sorry in advance for the long intro. I'll try putting like a timestamp to when I start drawing. But if you're curious why I disappeared for five months, it's basically because of school. I'm studying computer system engineering in university, and I thought it would be a great idea in the fall to become a part-time art YouTuber, professional, pro professional thing. Yeah, it did not go so well. Well, actually, actually did. Like I had a lot of fun. Like now I look back at it fondly and I don't regret any of the videos I made. I just wish I waited or was like a little more patient and like not not so desperate to like put as much content out there. Um, my channel like last fall was at 600 subscribers and then my sketchbook tour, which I now hate. <laughs> um, but yeah, that, that sketchbook tour video uh, blew up on an, un, wait, I can't speak. That video blew up just like completely out of the blue. I thought it would get maybe like 3000 views or something because like that was that was a lot for me and still is a lot for me <laughs> anyways thank you all so much for sticking around or joining my dead channel <laughs> this summer i'm going to be posting probably not in a schedule i'm not really sure it depends on like how long it takes me to make an artwork this artwork in this video took just way too long and i've been editing now for like two days <laughs> So it, it will really depend because I do have another project going on this summer that I'll announce a little later. But yeah, this summer I'll be posting uh, fall semester of my, hopefully my last year of university, I'll stop posting. Winter break, I might post a video or two and then um, winter term, I'll disappear again. But at least this time it will be announced and not super like unexpected, hopefully. I guess now is a good time to start talking about the actual drawing. So it was really hard for me to decide what to draw for this video. I don't know if you could tell from like all the footage before. Basically, I, I wasn't sure whether I wanted to do a sketchbook video or like something off my sketchbook for once in my life. And I decided to do it on out of my sketchbook for once because I don't know, I just feel like all my content revolved around sketchbooks and I want to kind of break from that. I love working in my sketchbook, but it gets um, like, it started becoming like I was scared to move out from my sketchbook. Uh, like I was, I was getting far too attached to it and stopped drawing bigger things, which is kind of sad. I miss, I miss uh, drawing large scale and this was really fun for me to do. The other thing I couldn't decide on was what to draw. So then I decided to draw myself trying to decide what to draw. So <laughs> I took some like screenshots of my hand fiddling with a pencil. Some of the poses are exaggerated. Like I knew I was going to do this at that point. So I made sure to do some like exaggerated hand poses. And then I just sent a list of random objects to my friend and told her I was going to like add those in <laughs> floating in the air. So most of the random objects are from my house or wait, some of the objects are from my house and I took the pictures myself, but other things like the lemons, for example, I just remembered those objects from my head because um, I've drawn lemons before. It was a very traumatic experience, but I still remember how to draw them. The, the shoe that I'm drawing right here on screen, I don't know if this is gonna sync up properly, but the shoe, the paper airplane and other objects that are coming up, those, those were from reference photos. Also, some footage got lost. I'm just realizing this right now. Some footage got lost because I'm so rusty at making videos, but it's kind of frustrating because you won't see me do the, the spray bottle and that was really fun to draw. If you're curious about the reference photos that I used, I put them all at the end of this video and I also put all the materials at the end of this video. I think I'm just gonna do that for every video now. So if anyone asks about materials in the comments, um, I could just put the timestamp where it starts. So this is when I finally start coloring the artwork. This is such a long video, like we're five minutes in and I just started coloring. 
it's been actual years since I've done an artwork only with colored pencils or like mostly with colored pencils. And I noticed a really big difference while drawing this and like seeing the end result to um, like a really big difference compared to my previous colored pencil artworks. When I was younger, my, my sole purpose on this planet was to make hyper-realistic Prismacolor Premier colored pencil drawings like everyone else I saw on Instagram. So I would basically just get a reference photo um, and then stress over it for like three, four days trying to make it as realistic as possible. And that's where the difference kind of comes in with this artwork here. I wasn't that like stressed doing it. Like, yes, I use reference photos in order for it to like kind of look real or like accurate to life. Like, I don't know how a paper airplane looks like um, crumpled up and I wouldn't be able to get the, the shapes of the shadow correct on my own. But I did exaggerate the colors for it. Like I didn't copy the image exactly and I didn't care where the, like the ruled lines of the colored pencils went. I just put them anywhere. So that's, that's the main difference I felt. Um, I relied a lot more on my imagination and I still use reference photos. Reference photos are really important and there's no shame in using reference photos or even making something hyper-realistic. I love hyper-realism art and I do wanna attempt it again sometime this summer maybe, but I just really love this relaxing kind of like illustrative style that's still kind of realism, but not quite, I guess. I don't know, there's probably a fancy art word for it. So um, please educate me in the comments. Thank you. <laughs> but anyways, I had so much fun doing still lifes for a change because a lot of the art I do, it's either like um, character art or um, like background drawings. So doing a couple of still lifes and like having fun with that was a really nice change of pace and yeah, I think my favorite thing to draw in this um, in this uh, artwork was the spray bottle and Ziku's collar. I also drew my sister's plant, which I'll start coloring a few seconds from now on screen. It was one of those plants that's like sold in these aesthetically pleasing boxes that aren't meant to like sustain plant life. It's not really aesthetically pleasing anymore when the plant starts dying, so we we moved, um, we moved box from his box and put him in a nice pot. So here's where I mess up. This is when I bring in the gouache paint and this paper isn't meant for gouache. I even Googled it. Um, I think I Googled does Strathmore Artigan paper take gouache. To no one's surprise, there was literally no result on that. So you're hearing it here first. Um, this is, this is a scientific breakthrough. Strathmore 60 pound drawing paper cannot handle gouache. It flakes off in such a weird way. Well, first of all, it feels weird. Like it slides weirdly on the paper and it comes out super unsaturated because the paper just absorbs it in this weird way. But I managed to kind of save the hands, kind of being the keyword here. But I, man I saved them by putting colored pencil on top of the gouache and it kind of worked. Um, I think they look much better now with the colored pencils on top of the gouache. But the crazy part is like while scratching the colored pencils on top of the gouache layer, I would see flakes of paint coming off and then I'd have to color the entire area all over again. It was, it was so frustrating. So if you're using Strathmore paper and you're using colored pencils and um, for some reason you want to use gouache, I would advise don't, but at the same time, um, feel free to like experiment yourself. <laughs> maybe, maybe you just that one piece of Strathmore paper. The experiment is inconclusive. We had only one test case. We should probably experiment a little more before writing it off as a possibility. As you can see though, I did continue with the gouache for the other three hands, even though I knew it was terrible. But I did that just for consistency's sake, because I wanted the hands to look like the same, kind of. But I used the gouache in the first place because... Wait, wait, I forgot to mention this. I forgot this like entire rant I had planned out. The hands drove me crazy. 
I'm now just realizing how bad the hands drove me crazy. Maybe it's because I last worked on this artwork two days ago, so I already forgot all the pain associated with it. But I really wanted the hands to stand out because this artwork is all about how I'm indecisive on what to draw. I tried to um, portray that, I guess. That's the only word I could think of. So I wanted the hands to be the main focus, not the objects. I wanted the hands to really like pop. So that's why I used gouache in the first place. And then I wanted to make the hands a different color from the surrounding objects so that they'd stand out even more. So I made the mistake of giving myself options. And I was already in an extremely indecisive mood, I guess. Couldn't decide on the materials. I couldn't decide on the paper. Couldn't decide on the subject. And now I gave myself another thing that I couldn't decide on, which was the colors of the hand. So I asked my siblings, I asked my friend, and she asked her family. And at the start, blue was winning with six points. Then purple had two points and only my younger brother chose red. And so naturally we teased him for that. But then my mom and dad chose red and then 126 people on Instagram chose red. So I guess I should retire and let my younger brother run this channel. Anyways, that's all I have to rant about today. This voiceover is just all over the place. It's so unorganized and I don't really have a clear topic. But I hope you enjoyed it anyways. I hope you, I don't know, got some art done while listening to me rants or something. Maybe got some homework done. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. <laughs> I'm going to sign off before I embarrass myself even further. And um, yeah, thank you all so much for the support and like sticking around. I can't believe we're at 20,000 subscribers now. It's kind of crazy. If you enjoyed or hated this video, please let me know in the comments below. Um, like and dislike and uh subscribe if you aren't already i'm so rusty oh my god anyways i'll see you guys in the next video which will come out in less than five months hopefully thanks for watching bye